everyone. Welcome to my Fabric Mart Fabricista Make Nine. So I'm excited about what I'm going to show you today. Black and white prints are classic and beautiful. Now when I saw this fabric, and I gotta tell you, this is all I have left from my project. It barely has any of the print on it, but you can see this beautiful striped border. So this was a double border. The stripes were running down each side of the fabric, and in the middle, it had floral. And I thought it was so cool. The other thing that I thought was really, really cool was the fact that this is a crepe double knit. I love crepe and double knit is nice because it's a stable knit. There's not much stretch. I mean, there's a little, but look, there's not a whole lot either way, just a bit. So I thought, well, I have to get this. I love the black and white. I love the border. I love crepe. I love double knit. It's got it all. This is a polyester lycra blend. When I got the fabric, I knew what I wanted to make. I just, I just knew it had to become a circle skirt. And I reached for Vogue 88. Eight, two. Now, this is a skirt pattern for non-stretch wovens. But because this double knit does not have a lot of stretch anyway, I figured that it would be okay. And I did interface the parts that really needed it. I interfaced the waistband and I interfaced where I put the zipper in the back. So this is a very full skirt. I didn't have enough fabric to make this real long one. So I made, I believe, UD. And what I, I knew what I wanted to do with these cool stripes. I wanted the stripes around the waistband and then I wanted the stripes around the hem. Now, I've never made a circle skirt before, I don't think. I might have made a half circle, but I wasn't sure if I could put a hem band on a circle skirt. And I asked the computer, I'm like, can I put a band on my circle skirt? And everything that came up was, yes, you can put a waistband on, but that's not what I meant. I meant a hem band. When I searched for that, nothing really said to do that. They said you can use bias binding, you can do a narrow hem where you turn it up twice, you can do a rolled hem using your serger if you wanna do that, but I wanted these stripes. So, I had to really think about this. Do you ever just have to have time away from the project so you can think about it? <laughs> and I'm usually in bed when I'm doing this. I'm just like, okay, I've got to have those stripes at the bottom. And when you cut this out, you have to cut the main portion of the skirt on the bias because it's so curved and wide. I mean, it's, you know, like a circle and you can't put it on the border. It doesn't work that way. So I cut the skirt part out of just the straight floral. And then I thought I will add this great big border. Now this, this stripe border was even wider. It had about that much more on it. It was probably about seven, eight inches wide. And I thought, I'll put that around the bottom. But then I thought, no, I think that's too wide and you don't want anything stiff around the bottom of the circle skirt because you want to preserve that flouncy flow. 
So I thought, well, what if I cut these stripes and make them a little bit thinner? And that's what I did. I cut, you know, it was easy to do because these lines are perfectly straight. And I just cut along the stripes and attached my narrower stripe band to the hem and it worked. So I'm gonna show you my skirt because I'm really loving this thing. Let me pull this up so that you can get a good view. And you know, our kitchen is still all torn up. Now, I did not make my top. This is just a black cotton button-up shirt. But you know what I'm thinking I'd like to do is make one for myself out of something kind of fancy like silk. Here is the skirt. There are the stripes around the hem. And there are the stripes around the waistband. This skirt has a zipper in the back. And then it fastens, I believe, with hook and eye. But I wanted to put buttons. I only had two buttonholes to make. My practice buttonholes came out great. My first buttonhole came out wonderfully. Second buttonhole, the machine decides to go haywire. And it just went up and down over the same track before I realized it was not making a buttonhole. And that was so much unpicking because it had just put stitches in the same line over and over and over again. And it was black thread on black fabric. Ah, my eyes aren't that good. You know, I had to get my little skinny magnifiers out and I had all these lights shining on it. Then I asked Brad if he would unpick some and he's so sweet that he did. Can you believe that? Oh, I was so mad. Two buttonholes. One of them goes completely AWOL. And so then I had to put, finally got all that stuff unpicked. There were a few threads left in there. I couldn't get them all out because I was afraid I was going to damage the fabric. And then I put the second buttonhole in and tiptoed away from my machine. Now, I do like my machine, but it does have a penchant for wrecking buttonholes at crucial moments. At any rate, I do love this skirt. It worked beautifully. The fabric itself, there isn't a single complaint. Like I do with all my fabric, I put it in a cold water wash. I put it in a medium dry. Didn't need to be ironed at all. It just came out beautifully. This is a medium weight. You know, most double weight is pretty weighty. And it's got a crepe finish, so it's kind of that sandy dry finish that I love. And I had to use a pressing cloth because you know, it's synthetic, so you don't want to put an iron on it. And it did just fine with the pressing cloth. Uh, like I said, I used fusible interfacing for the waistband and where I had the zipper put in. No problem with the fusibles. What can I say? I just think it's beautiful. And what else did I write about it? Oh, yes. Last month when I made my outfit, there had been a little mis misinformation up at Fabric Mart, and there was hardly any fabric available. This fabric, there's over 200 yards in stock. And when I checked on it today, it is in the $1.99 a yard category. I'm not even kidding you. So, how do you like that? Um, it's a poly lycra blend. It's 60 inches wide, so it was fine for cutting this skirt. When you cut something on the bias, you need to let it hang overnight, which I did. I don't know if you need to do that for knits or not, but I let it hang overnight before attaching the hem band, which, like I said, was kind of narrow. It's maybe three inches wide. 
and I just sewed right along that black line and sewed it to, let's see if the camera will pick it up, and just sewed it right there with a little tiny seam to keep it as light as possible, and there you have it. So, I'm going to go outside in my circle skirt, and I'll tell you why. It is a super windy day, and I want to see if it gets kind of twirly out there. So I'm going to go find Brad. Come with me. I'll be right back. It's great kite flying weather. <laughs> well, I got this real twirly skirt on, and I wanted a big gust of wind to, you know, give it give us the money shot, right? But alas, I don't think that's going to happen. Before we go, I put this on Instagram, but I don't think I put it on my channel that Candace and Mike are engaged. Ah, we're so happy. He asked her to marry him, I think it was two and a half weeks ago. So, they haven't set a date because everything's so cattywampus, but I have already started looking at patterns for mob dresses mother of bride you know i don't have enough patterns right i couldn't possibly pick something out of the patterns i have so i have been ordering some patterns and i can't wait to show them to you the wind is picking up my skirt isn't but head over to fabric mart and look at this beautiful fabric you can search it um you don't have to search it look in the description box and I will leave a link press that and it'll take you right there and I'm looking at this tree it's awfully pretty why don't we leave with a shot of this beautiful tree thanks for being with me today and I'll see you soon bye